Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Disappear for Days and today we are in the beautiful Alango Island on Cebu. Over the next few weeks, we'll actually have a very special guest joining us. Hello. Hey. So this is my uncle Koya Lee. He's joined us on our trip to the Philippines and over the next couple of weeks he's going to be in some of our videos. So we're going to be bringing him along, hopefully giving him the real disappear for days experience. I can't wait for this. I'm looking forward to it. Right, first off, Jacob and I are actually going to cycle to the local market to go and get some groceries because this place is absolutely amazing but it is right in the middle of nowhere so we're going to need to get some groceries so we can make dinner and stuff. These are our vehicles for today. Let's get going. This is the reality of it. We're finally on the road after that little blunder with the wheels and everything. And these things are a little rickety. This definitely doesn't feel like the comfiest, safest of rides. Hi! <laughs> We got a bag for 275. We were really struggling to find uncooked rice. There didn't seem to be many in any of the shops or anything. So one lady's brought us over to this stall, but obviously they've got cooked rice. But luckily this lady is gonna sell us some of her uncooked rice. Everyone's been really helpful though. Everyone's been like coming up to us and saying, what is it, what do you want, what do you need? Right, that was a bit of a nightmare, trying to get everything that we needed and trying to get as quick as possible so that the meat doesn't spoil. So we're gonna hot foot it back as quick as we can because I'm really worried about this meat. Hello. Right, we're back from the market. We've just had a coffee and some breakfast and now we're gonna head out on the kayaks. I am so excited. Before we go though, I don't wanna wait any longer to show you the place that we're staying. So take a look at this. I think one of the best parts about this place is just this balcony area. It gives you such a nice view of all around. You can see right over to the corner of the island there. You can see all around all the boats and all the locals doing their fishing, all the kids playing in the water and stuff. This place is so nice. It's absolutely beautiful. And then they also have this cupboard, which is full of scuba and snorkeling stuff. So it actually has a BCD, snorkel fins, snorkel masks, wetsuits. And yeah, you can just come out and use it as all your diving equipment, which is really, really good because it saves you on having to hire stuff, which can be quite expensive. Right, off we go. This is crazy that like, this is like our little driveway and then you just take your little kayak down into the water. You are right? <laughs> Uncle Quilly's first time kayaking. He's going to be a pro. Off I go. All the local kids are out. Probably got like one and a half times my height. Oh, you're out, you're out your depth? Yeah. Oh, it looks. Yeah, it looks really near. Yeah. She's got herself stranded. I have not got myself stranded. I got through that gap all on my own. Very good. It couldn't get it. Sure. Surely you could see that there was a bunch of land here. I didn't get stranded. I stopped off 
to have a look and then I had to wait for you two because you were taking far too long. I got out because there's a couple of jellyfish that I saw so I was like don't want to risk it too much. Oh look, is that one there? Yeah look there's literally one here. Where? You see oh it? yeah. Right. Now just watch. Just watch right. the master. My dad would be proud. I mean we've not moved and you've because <laughs> of your weight on it. When I was on my own I was flying along. You're just spinning us in a circle now. It's alright. Don't worry. <laughs> What is going on? I think you're going to have to push off from that end. Do you feel like you're stuck on something? I don't know, maybe I am. Yeah, you are. See, we were stuck on the rock. So what hope did I have, really? There you go. Okay. We're going this way, Uncle Coily. Isn't this just nuts, though? You can literally just see sea on the horizon. It looks and reminds me of Truman Show. Oh. Like, you know, when he's in that globe and it's just got clouds and stuff in it. It literally does look fake. Like, it looks so insanely blue. I've just come around the corner and we found what we think over there might be the floating restaurant and then there looks like there's like a little village here lots of little houses and things how are you finding it uncle quilly your first time kayaking we were saying the water is so kind of flat and easy to paddle hi what are your names nice to meet you What's that? Oh, uh, you put fish in it. Oh, okay. Smart. <laughs> Jacob just cooked up a storm in the kitchen. Got some instant noodles with fried egg. What are you thinking? It's like what kind of <laughs> lunch with a view? Can't get much better than this, can you? Right. I couldn't resist coming back out again. Even though the sun is very burny today, I feel like as soon as we go back into the villa, I just want to get straight back out again and come back out into the water. Just come wandering down our little driveway and we're just going for a little walk in the water. I'm scared of the jellyfish. And the good thing is you can see them normally because they're normally at the top. So hopefully we'll be okay. Famous last words. Spoil the starfish. So Uncle Coily is currently cooking a bit of dinner. I think we've got a bit of pork chop and stir fry veg on the menu with rice. Alright, looking good. You alright? Looks good, oh, yeah. So, what have we got, chef? Jasmine fragrant from the plain rice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all fresh from the market this morning. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Here it goes. Mm. It is masala. Yeah, you get it <laughs> no, it's really good actually. The pork is nicely salted and got a good amount of pepper on it. The veg, crunchy, but that's what you wanted. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to enjoy this, I think. Mm. Simple mango dessert. Fresh mango for dessert. Mm. It's super, super sweet. It's really, really nice. Dinner as well was top tier. I was very happy with that. So compliments to the chef. Good job, Uncle Quilly. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello, Hello from, from the Philippines. Philippines. <laughs> what are your names again? Athena Rose. My name is Shaira. They're lovely names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the <laughs> boy. <laughs> Basketball extraordinaire. I've learned from all the kids in Manila. I think she's got the lack of moves. <laughs> the hoop is that far away. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. What was that? Are you trying to break all their shells? <laughs> okay, come on, show us how it's done. Is it going? No. Oh. Oh. Good morning. It is the second full day of Cebu on Alango. Emma's currently working, so Uncle Quilly and I have decided to take a little morning ride. Hello! This is where we come to eat on the day that we arrived, Efren and Gloria's. They served up some pretty banging food. As we come to the end of the road, when we were out yesterday, we saw these floating restaurants. We were thinking of kayaking up to them, but 
thought we'd leave it. It's good to know that they're there because they look like they could be good. Nice little chapel church thing that we've just come across as well. I don't look like I'd see many in there. But I guess it's probably enough for the village people. Hello! I feel like all of our Philippines vlogs are just full of like the most adorable kids just saying hi to us. It's pretty wholesome content. Okay, we've cycled about another five, ten minutes and I think we've come to the top of the island. I love how there's just like kids jumping off of all the boats here and stuff. Clearly a cool hangout spot. So you can go through here to there. What, you can swim through? That's so cool. Hey! Coily's bike broke, so we've just fixed it and made a bit of an audience. Oh, I don't know if we've come to a dead end here, but there's a little church and a very dapper looking dude. Uh, <laughs> yes, you can see where the tide comes in. There's actually a little church even down there. But from where the tides come in and there's like mangroves, it's basically like flooded up some of the houses. That is crazy that it does that. People keep asking where Uncle Quilly's comes from and they keep thinking it's Korean when it's actually Malaysian. You can get one Ubo cake and then one of the ice bun. Some ube products, we've got a yo-yo and a cake. There's also this really, really fresh Spanish bread, she said. I'm excited to try this. It's really nice and warm. There's a bit of something on the inside. I don't know what it is. Maybe coconut or just sugar. That's really, really soft though. It's really nice. It's slightly sweet. I like it. It's fresh. It's straight off the oven. It's crispy. It's warm. It's nice. We made a friend. So we've pretty much gone full circle now. We've ended up at Twin Vibes Food House, which was recommended by our friend who was riding the bike just then. I think we're going to try and get a bit of lunch. We've got some grilled pork and some adobo squid, which is pretty good. And I'm really stuff fried some veg. It's tasting good. Okay, it is very wet and windy. I think the storm is coming but that just makes me want to go out and play in the waves. So I've managed to convince Jacob, quickly chucked my wet stuff on, and yeah, we're gonna go and have a little play out here. Coming out for a walk for dinner, and look at this bad boy that we've just come across. It's like a hermit crab, but I've never seen one so big. That's so cool. Yeah. Just saw him walking along on this little dirt track. We've suddenly come across this absolutely buzzing area. <laughs> it is so loud. Right, so we're back at the Sharks Resort. We asked here earlier to see if they serve food and yeah, thankfully they do because the floating restaurants are both closed. We've got a San Miguel as well as a, what was it, a Smirnoff Mule? That looks pretty interesting. It's a blend of vodka, ginger beer and lime. Cheers. Cheers. Dinner has been served. We've gone for some calamari, which looks really, really good. It looks really crispy. And then we've got a chicken curry, which I've not had any chicken curry since being in the Philippines. I'm excited for this. The curry is pretty damn good. I think it was just nice to have a bit of a change up in flavors because we've not had a curry. That's so crunchy. It's really good. The dip's pretty good as well. It's not too sweet. Those are some of the best calamari rings I've had in a good while. Made a little friend. He's been enjoying the bones. Oh, he's a cutie. 
an absolutely beautiful day so so we're gonna go out for a bit of a kayak and a swim all the local kids are out as well they've been calling us all whilst we've been eating our lunch it's like asking when you ask your friends out to come play we're gonna get the catamarans and the ball go have a bit of fun all right here goes oh, oh that's pathetic one of our boats has been overtaken by the local children they could have taken it back. Now they're probably just going to all come and capsize mine. We've come around in the other direction this time. We've come around to this bit of the island, which is, I think, where a lot of the little houses are. Right, we're heading back towards our play. Good jump! Wow! Yeah! They've got no fear whatsoever. Ready, ready, ready to jump? Jump! No! <laughs> Everyone got their hands up. Right, hands up. Three, two, one. Yeah! Whoa! Bye. The not so glamorous side of being this remote is that we're having to do our own washing. Say hello. What's your name? Hello. What's your name? Hello. <laughs> this little guy's just come up and said hello whilst we're doing our washing. Uh, he did bring us up a little crab. What? You brought us a little crab, didn't you? Where's the crab? Crab. Crab. Yeah, you brought us a crab up, didn't you? It's a little gift, I think it was. A little live crab crawling around. Yeah, it was a crab, wasn't it? Crab. Crab. Go on, from there. Oh, close. Ah. Nice. Nice, high five. Okay, we're going to run this one here. I don't know what this video is going to be like. I feel like it's just like a mismatch of lots of different things we did over the last few days. But I feel like when you're with people, it's a bit harder to kind of sequence the video and make sure that you keep picking the camera back up. So I do apologize for that, but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. Give it a like if you did. We have loved this beautiful island of Alango. Loved meeting all the people, so many local children. It's just been so nice to here and constantly having children come up and say hello and play within the water and everything it's just been so much fun i definitely feel like i'd want to come back here one day anyway we'll see you in the next one subscribe if you haven't already see you soon